contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, led to the ring by Zubar, the superstar. First, weighing in at nine and a half quarter inches from South Philly, Japan, Trent Ashley. At a match that was set up in Seoul, New Jersey, Johnny Cashmere, who was fired from this company for losing to that man, Trent Ashley, in this very same city, John House. He has been stalking, he has made the lives of the big deal of hell. All he has been doing is trying to screw with Zandig's show. Well, last night, Zandig gave him an opportunity for redemption, which was a match with Trent Acid once again. And last night, again, unable to defeat Trent Acid. Zandig laughing, slapping Johnny Cashmere. What can the kid do to earn his respect? Zandig issued the challenge last night. Big Justice Payne, Johnny Cashmere. Justice it's Payne, all going down Johnny here Cashmere, tonight. you'll find that out tonight. I think Justice Payne and Johnny Cashmere bit off just a little bit more than they can do. You know just as well as I do. Zandig's got Justice Payne's number. And you know just as well as I do that Trent Acid has Johnny Cashmere's number. You know, I'm going to shoot for a minute here. Zandig, the boss, he told me to say that. But in actuality, it was Justice Payne that made the challenge last night. So I'll say it. So there. Look at the boss. That's confidence in his face. That is the current CZW World Heavyweight Champion and Big Japan Deathmatch Heavyweight Champion, Trent Acid, who quite possibly could be the best junior heavyweight in CZW. A former junior heavyweight champion here. A former tag team champion here. Trent Acid is a superstar. A man to be reckoned with here in the combat zone. One of the best in the sport. And Johnny Cashmere comes out with a barbed wire chair, along with Justice Payne. And this, a tag team, the last time these two teamed up, that was an unfit believable, Don Hell. Do you know that? And that was a great match, Eric. But they're in the ring with the superstar and the boss. What does Johnny Cashmere have to do to prove himself around here? He goes through tables, he goes through glass, he goes through barbed wire, he goes through light bulbs. Nothing he can do satisfies the boss. Look at the boss with all the confidence in the world. Z-Bar, of course, running around like the little girl that he is. What if he trips with those light bulbs in his hands? Well, then we might not ever see him again. Yeah, I think he'll be fired, to be honest with you. I don't even know, why does the boss keep him around? What does the boss see in him? He's a little pest. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. No, boss. Please, boss. Let me do it for you, boss. Of course, Trent Acid. The last time we saw him in Smart at Delaware was against Johnny Cashmere. During that match, Zandig granted Johnny Cashmere the match. He did not tell him what the stipulation was of that matchup. Johnny Cashmere went into the matchup just for the opportunity at Trent Acid. Finally getting that opportunity, he lost the match. And little did he know, it was a loser leave CZW matchup. But you know what? That didn't make a difference. Anyway, Cashmere, it did, it, the, the stipulation didn't matter at all, Eric, because he lost the match and didn't find out what the stipulation was until he lost. And you know something? When Zandig walked out here, it was like a big dark cloud that came over Smyrna, Delaware. And Johnny Cashmere, the fans love him. He's proved himself to the fans. What's it going to take for him to prove himself to the boss? Are you referring to the weather? It's gotten cooler here. I am. It's because the boss is cold. His ass. That's my job. And Justice Payne getting the crowd behind him here. This is what it all has come down to. What's Justice Payne smiling for? Trent Acid and Johnny Cashmere being drug into this war between Zandig and Justice Payne. Justice Payne has already been granted a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Justice Which Payne he doesn't deserve. Justice Payne, a former World Heavyweight Champion, losing the match in February to Nick Burke, all due to the interference of Zandig and the big deal. Has yet to receive a title shot since that matchup. But of course, in Sewell, New Jersey, and an incredible four-way, a sky-high set up power bomb there by the former World Heavyweight Champion. And in that, in that incredible four-way, he did win a shot at the championship. Trent Acid had an opportunity to tag the boss, and he didn't do it. Trent 
Kovacic misses with the Enziguri. Justice Payne goes into the STF, working well with Johnny Cashmere. That is Johnny's specialty tag team wrestling. Johnny Cashmere seems to pick up the intensity when he's opposing Trent Acid. Justice Payne, the only wrestler in CZW ever to hold every single title belt in this company. To the world, head scissor there, and Trent Acid lands in a cartwheel there. Trent Acid, and what's with that loaded boot that we talked about? We saw that in Sewell. How do you know that boat's, that, that boot's loaded? Well, tonight, Johnny Kaiser with the Bulldog tonight, Trent Acid has boots of the same color, but still, I question the integrity of that boot. Are you saying that the, both of his boots are loaded? They could be. Johnny Cashmere goes in for the cover, hooks the leg, Trent kicks out. That was like a two and three quarter there. Johnny Cashmere, some don't know whether he will be here tomorrow. Nobody knows the status of Cashmere, whether Zandy will allow him to return. I don't think anyone cares about the status of Cashmere. A wheelbarrow suplex there by Trent Acid. A member of the big deals drops. Johnny Cashmere right on his head. Do you care about Johnny Cashmere? Yes, I do. Oh, you're the only one. The heart that that kid shows every time he steps into the ring is something that should be admired. And here we go. It's on. He almost and, took his head off. Did I see a Japanese arm drag out of Zandig? Johnny Cashmere and, and Justice Payne both the recipient of a double Japanese arm drag. The clothesline over the top. Remember, John House. It was during Jimmy Washington's Cavalcade of Stars with Zandig and Johnny Cashmere went nose to nose. And John Zandig, the owner of this company, threatened to kill Johnny Cashmere. He said he would kill him. He would murder him. That's why this match is taking place, Eric. I think the boss wants to get rid of Cashmere for good. And Johnny Cashmere now, it's like Jack of the Beanstalk. David and Goliath with him and Zandig. How about if Johnny Cashmere pins Zandig in this one? Then he would be in line for a title shot, maybe. And of course, if Justice Payne was to defeat Zandig, that would lead to, of course, an incredible title match. We're already going to see it. But imagine the momentum that Justice Payne would have going into that matchup. And how about the Yakuza kick by Trent Acid? Loaded, unloaded, impressive nonetheless. There goes your chameleon. He's playing dead right now. And Trent Acid right now, I don't know what he's calling for. Maybe a chair. Maybe two. Enough's already. And Trent Acid and Justice Payne in the ring. Johnny Cashmere outside of the ring with the boss. Z-Bar holding the light tube. Trent Acid now positioning the chairs. Justice Payne doesn't look like the ultra-violent all-star now, does he? Not at this point in time. Maybe he's going to set up Justice Payne for that bad trip. Zandig. A frequent traveler as of late. He'll the be heading to Mexico to defend the World Heavyweight Championship. And then from there, he goes back to Japan for another series of defenses. And the bad trip it is. And Justice Payne just took a front row seat along a bad trip. Kick out by Justice Payne. Trent Acid, the former junior heavyweight champion, goes in once again for the choke. Trent Acid, who made a hell of a showing at our Best of the Best Juniors tournament, and Zandig is possibly in the middle of committing a murder. He hates Johnny Cashmere. It's all come down to this. This is what it's all about. You know, come to think of it, Eric, I think you're the only one that does like Johnny Cashmere. And Justice Payne and Trent standing up to Yakuza kick. The big deals are in total control of this match. Now, if Johnny Cashmere pins the boss, will he prove himself then? He'll never pin the ball. Never. Zubar barking orders outside there. Trent all over the former world heavyweight champion here in Justice Payne. The last time Justice Payne and Zandig met in a singles match was a non-title match, but as part of the Big Japan Deathmatch Tournament, which Zandig came out the victor. And Zandig right now with a hip toss to Johnny Cashmere of the bushes. I believe there are rose bushes back there. He just threw him in a sea of thorns. He just got rid of Cashmere. Now look, Justice Payne is not in good shape right now. And the buzz is coming back to the ring. Trent Asso with a beautiful German suplex all over Justice Payne. Trent Asso holding his own in there tonight. Trent a junior heavyweight. He calls himself the best junior heavyweight in the world. In there tonight with two heavies. Here comes the boss, Eric. Let me ask you this. Let me put you on the spot. What do you think of our boss? And Zandig right now in position 
for possibly a superplex. Well, and Zandig once again going back to the, no comment, I plead the fifth. Zandig right now for the superplex, has him up and decides to drop him outside of the ring. And in their one and only war, at no rules, no limits, the same exact thing happened during that. Look at the power of the boss holding them up there. Zandig holds him out, sits out with the Falcon Arrow. And he points to Trent Acid. It's all over. Two. And it kicks pretty hard to Page. Justice Page showing the heart of the lion in here tonight. Johnny Cashmere was hip tossed through bushes. I happen to believe that there were thorns back there. The heart of a lion. He showed me the stupidity of an Eric Arjulo. Excuse me. And right now, a tag into the boss. The boss looks like he's busted open. The boss, Zandig, the world heavyweight champion, defeating Yoshihiro Tajiri for that championship back in February in this very same state. And a DDT. Overhead belly to belly. He just took 300 pounds off his feet and threw him across the ring. And Johnny Cashmere is back. Yeah, but how much of a beating did he take on the outside, Eric? Johnny Cashmere getting the fans behind him. Johnny Cashmere makes the tag. Oh! Wait a second. Come on, man. And Trent Asset trying to hold off. A duck by Johnny. Johnny knows Trent. And he accuses a kick of his own. If there's anybody that knows Trent Asset, it is Johnny Cashmere. Look at his back. Johnny Cashmere's back looks like it's serrated. It's, it's busted open. That's him in position for a cradle breaker. A cradle breaker by Johnny Cashmere. What's he trying to do? Ed Trent's career? Johnny Cashmere right now all over. Trent Acid, a barbed wire table is being brought into the ring. This war is about to reach new heights here in CZW. And right now, Johnny Cashmere is setting up the table. And Eric, that table has barbed wire on it. Wrapped all over, and that is razor sharp barbed wire. Justice Payne right now setting it up with Justice Payne. And a big clothesline by Zandy. He almost took his head off with that one, Eric. And Justice Payne in position. Look at him stalking the champion. Look, he kicked him low. That's illegal. A big roundhouse kick to the midsection there. A couple left hands. And another. He's a southpaw. It's Justice Payne. That was a kick to the jewels, Eric. Not a kick to the midsection. A kick to the midsection once again. Zandy with the reversal of a short arm. Some set up. He's going to over. It's over me. It's this. And he just threw Justice Payne into razor sharp barbed wire. That's why I'm proud of our boss, Eric. Our you? That man has no remorse. He makes me sick. What do you think of the boss now? I think he's disgusting. Swing and a miss by Johnny Cashmere. And no, said enough already. He's already proved himself. Pressing him high overhead. For bomb him out of nowhere. High overhead. ECW. Drops him down. Into that barbed wire rock chair. Trent Asin now slow to get up. Justice Payne breaks things up. Justice Payne and Johnny Cashmere functioning very well as a tag team here tonight. Trent with a miss. And a blue thunder driver. That's it, it's over. Come on, that's over. And a big kick out by Justice Payne. Again, the heart of a lion, Don House. I'm trying to figure something out here, which is. Can hard dog count past two? Enough's enough already. Stop questioning the integrity of our officials here. You're going to give us a bad name. And Zandig right now with light tubes. Not the first time and definitely not the last we have seen him use that. Remember what happened at Stretched in Smyrna? It was chaos in that building. And a double vertical suplex attempt into a small package cradle. Johnny and Justice They went Payne. for a double pin there, Eric. Unable to hold on. And it looks like now they will go for the two suplexes there. Yeah, I have to think that they thought the light bulbs were there, but did you see Z-Bar sneak in there and take those light bulbs out? That's what Z-Bar is there for. The, that's why the boss keeps him around, Eric. There's your answer. And Xander looks like a man possessed once he gets his hands on that, bar, on that light bulb. Johnny Cashmere and Justice Payne all over the members of the big deals right now. Double submission maneuver. Johnny Cashmere wants to talk that one to Justice Payne. We've seen Johnny use that many times. We do hear a bell. No! They gave up. We're in the ropes. They gave up. We're in the ropes. I never thought I'd see the day where our boy.
Andreas and Andreas at the same time, Gable. They were in the room. I didn't see that. They were in the room. You're a liar. That's hard time. He's gonna be fired. And Johnny Cashmere, has he proven himself to be a young boss? Did he prove himself tonight? I sure as hell think he did. Johnny Cashmere and Justice Payne stand high above Paul in CBW tonight. And that's not enough. All the aggression right now. And Johnny Cashmere has more boss. It's coming out. He's all over. He's all over his hands. He's fired for good now, Eric. And they are killing the boss. He's going to go to Mexico in two days. The worst thing Johnny Cashmere did was listen and let Justice Payne get into his head. Because he's going to pay for this. Johnny Cashmere is showing what could possibly the most vicious side that he's ever seen. Max Mack in the aisle just watching things break down. You can smell a cigar from here, and it stinks. And Justice Payne is guaranteed a shot at the goal somewhere soon. Coming soon here to CZW, Justice Payne will have one last chance at redemption for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Johnny Cashmere, did he prove himself or not? That remains to be seen here in the zone. Two guys with mutual respect and a common cause. What a main event. Justice Payne and Johnny. I can't believe it, Eric. I can't believe it.